Yes, it's 2009. Okay, my first tutorial of the year is how to open multiple programs with batch files. Yes, batch files. Okay, say I don't have that much time on the computer, and I want to open Microsoft Word to do my homework, but I also want to make a program with Visual Basic. So to open those two programs at the same time, you need a batch file. But how do I do that? Well, here's that. Right-click on your desktop or your location of choice. Click New. Text document. Um, yeah, text document. Name whatever you want. It doesn't matter unless you know what it is. Now, first of all, type in this. CD and then space. That's all for right now. Now say I want to open Microsoft Word first. Right click on your thing. Mm. It should be open file location. If it doesn't do that, then you're going to have to locate it yourself. Start computer. And this works with all version of versions of Windows. And it's going to be in the program files folder. <coughs> Okay, here you go. Win word. Okay, CD, and then after that, right click on your application and go to properties. Right here in location, highlight this to the uh, highlight this whole thing. Click Control C or push Control C to copy, and you're in Notepad. Just push Control V to paste. You should get this thing. Now push Enter. Now type in start space. Now where it says WinWord or your uh, the name of the file, highlight that. Control C copy. Control V paste. Now put in .exe for an application. If you're gonna do something else, then that's you're on your own. Now you need to do it for the other programs. Say I want to open Visual Basic 2. So right click on your icon, open file location, you should find that. Right click it, properties, and you guessed it, highlight location, control C, and then notepad, CD, control V, uh, enter, start, and name, control C, control space, control V, dot exe. Now go to file, save as, save it to your desktop or location of choice. Now where it says save as type, save as all files. Now we don't want to save the, well, whatever. Name whatever you want, and the extension that you'll have is dot bat dot bat. Click save. Now go to wherever you saved it to test it out. You should find it right here. Double click it. Should bring up a command prompt like whoop. Here's Visual Basic, and I bet in the background there's a splash screen for Microsoft Word, and it works. And that's batch. Those are batch files. 